there. Welcome back. Hey, how are you? I'm good. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I just have some pain in my knee, so I came to see okay. you. Yeah, of course. I'm glad that you came in. Can you tell me more about your knee pain? Mm -hmm. So, I'm a runner and I've been training for a marathon. Mm -hmm. And I've found out like recently where like I would just have this pain right here. Mm -hmm. Like, ow. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. right over here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's been, sometimes it's been hard to like walk sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely not running how I used to run because of the pain. Right. Yeah, I can imagine it's pretty debilitating. Mm -hmm. um, so you're a runner. Um, when did the pain start, did you say? Um, a week ago. About a week ago? And were you running more intensely or more frequently mm -hmm. about a week ago? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So just kind of exerting yourself more. Have you ever had this pain before? Not that I remember. Okay. And if you could rate it from 1 to 10, 1 being the least pain, 10 being the worst, how would you rate it? Right now? Yeah. Right now it's probably a 4, but it, the most pain I felt was a 6, I would say. Okay. Is When would you feel the most pain? Um, like a few minutes, or maybe like 30 minutes after my run. I see. Okay, so we'll definitely take a look at that for you. And I wanted to ask you, how does the pain feel like? Would you describe it as sharp, dull, achy? Is there any tingling, shooting, or burning pains? It's definitely a sharp pain. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like for me to know about this knee pain? No? Okay. All right, then. Okay. So I'm going to start by just inspecting uh, your legs, okay? So we'll start with sort of the muscles here. So the quadriceps, the rectus femoris. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness at all, okay? Or any yeah, kind of discomfort. A bit of tenderness. Over here. here. Okay. Just one second. What about here on this side? Mm. And you said here, mm -hmm. that doesn't feel good. Okay. Is it, what kind of sensation is it? It's kind of the same, where it's a bit sharp. Okay. Got it. Right. Just going to lift up your leg a little bit and just relax. What about back here? No. So, these are your medial muscles, your adductor muscles here, the um, gracilis, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, sartorius over here, okay, biceps femoris, any pain back here? Mm, not really. Okay. And what about here in the popliteal fossa? No, I'm like here, no. Alright. Yeah. So right here. What about up here? So just mm, no. along the quadriceps tendon that's coming down. And on the bone itself, the patella? Mm-mm. Okay. What about down here on the patellar tendon? No. Uh, tibular tuberosity. So it doesn't look like there's any bone pain. Just going to see if there's any swelling. Doesn't seem like there's any redness. That's good. 
no swelling. You can also check for um, effusion later, but just on first glance, it doesn't look like there's any effusion. Okay. So I'm going to continue to palpate. You can just rest your foot right there. Just along the tibia. So your tibial plateaus here. To your aspect of the tibia. No pain, okay. What about here? Mm, no, not as bad as upper. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we can see um, shin splints in runners. Gastrox and soleus back here. Just see if you have a good Achilles tendon response. Good. Okay. How's that? It's fine. To the L's posterior back here. And then we got Peronius longus and Brevis. Okay. Alright. Okay. okay, again, same thing. What about this side? How is that? This side is fine. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem as tight as the other side. Quadriceps. Quadriceps femoris. And what about here? Any pain here? No. Okay. And I'll work on some patella mobilization later for both sides. Again, doesn't look like there's any swelling or redness. here, but I don't see anything concerning on this side either. Achilles tendon, the lateral malleolus, medial malleolus. Okay. All right. That's good. Now I'm just going to have you lie down on the table facing up, your head that way. And I'm going to go through some range of motion with you. Okay. okay. All right. So now we're going to be doing some range of motion. So first I want you to do some active range of motion. So you're actually going to move the muscles yourself. I want you to just bend the knees. So first I'll have you bend your hip. And now you can go ahead and bend the knee all the way. And um, extend it all the way as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Now bend it again, all the way, very good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so bend all the way and extend all the way. Okay, as far as you, can you extend further? Um, I think this is all I can do. Okay, no worries. I'm gonna try bending again. Okay, does it cause pain when you do that? A little bit. Okay. This side. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to have you actually turn your foot um, inwards as far as you can. Good. Now turn it the other way as far as you can. Any pain with that? No. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Does that hurt at all? Fine, okay, turn it back. Okay, 
And how's that? It's okay. Just your hand kind of hurts right Right. Okay. Got it. I'm also going to check some hip range of motion. So I want you to um, bend the hip as far as you can forward and then bend it back. Okay. And then I also want to just bend your knee a little bit. And now I want you to rotate the hip, hip outwards. So go as far as you can. Okay, and back, and as far as you can that way. Good. All right. Okay. Let's do this one. Okay, now bend the hip as far as you can. How's that? It's okay. All right. Turn the hip towards me. Good. Okay. How does that feel? It's okay. It's a bit... It's a bit right here. Yeah, it stretches it out a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so turn it again that way. Okay, good. All right. You can also do some range of motion of the foot. Bend your ankle towards you as far as you can, like towards your head. So up as far as you can. Mm -hmm. And then down as far as you can. Okay. Any pain when you do that? Mm -hmm. Let's try the other side. Same thing. Bend up as far as you can. Good. And then down as far as you can. So then we're going to do inversion and eversion of the foot. So I want you to just turn your foot as far as you can there, and then the other way, okay, and then in as far as you can, and the other way. Any pain when you do that? Mm, not really. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to do passive range of motion of your knee, so just let me do the work. You just have to relax. I'm going to bend, flexion. Extension, then the rotation movements. Okay. Flexion, extension, the rotation movements. How's that? No pain? Okay. Was there any discomfort? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it for range of motion. I think that's enough information for me. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to do some reflexes. So again, I want you to just relax as far as you can. Again, it's okay. Relax as far as you can, and then good. Again, just relax as much as you can there. I know it's a little painful. Good. Please reflex. Very good. Yeah, your reflexes are perfect. Um, two plus for all of them. And now I want to do some dermatome testing. So for this, I'm just going to use this brush um, and I'm going to trace it along the dermatomes. And I want you to let me know if you feel the same sensation on both sides or if it's different, okay? So please close your eyes. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and trace. Same or different? Same. Okay. Same or different? Same. Okay. Same or different? Same.
same or different. Same or different? Same. Okay. And while we're on that, I just want to do um, the Babinski reflex. Good. <laughs> All right, perfect. Great reflexes there. No issues with the um, upper motor neurons. No issues with your nerve roots. Um, depending based on the dermatome and myotome findings. So that's really good. Now we're, I'm going to do some special orthopedic tests. So I'll start off um, with your left side and then I'll move on to your right side, okay? Let's start with some simple tests that probably will not aggravate you. Those are anterior and posterior drawer test on the left side. So I didn't hear any, I don't feel any laxity or hear any clicking or popping sounds, so that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to do, um, so that was the anterior and posterior longitudinal ligaments. Now I'm going to test the medial and lateral ligaments, collateral ligaments. feel any laxity there, so they seem to be intact as well. Okay, so now this is McMurray's test. I also want to do noble compression test. Let me know if you feel any pain when I do this, okay? Mm -hmm. How's that? It's okay. It's okay? Alright. Now you move on to your other leg. So again, I'm going to do the same test. Now the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. So let's start with the lateral. How was that? It's okay. All right. How was that? Okay. Now the McMurray test. Any issues with that one? Any pain? No. Alright, I'm going to do the last test. I'm just going to flex. Uh, oh, that really hurts? Yeah. Okay. It was that same sharp pain that you were feeling earlier? Okay. So it looks like I have a diagnosis for you. I'm just going to have you get up and then I'll explain it as well. Some exercises that can help you with um, this condition that you have. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for collaborating with me throughout that entire exam. So good news. It's not too serious of a condition. It's very much reversible. It's called IT band syndrome where your right IT band, which actually, um, it starts off with your iliac crest, so this, this bone here in the hip. And it's also connected to your gluteus maximus, which is um, the muscle here on your buttocks. Mm -hmm. And it's also connected to your tensor fascia lata. 
So it does help to flex the knee, so it helps to kind of bend the knee, it helps to um, stabilize the knee as well during extension. It also helps with some abduction, so moving the leg to the side mm. this way. Yeah, so it's an incredibly important muscle and it tends to get overused mm. when running. So it seems like as you were ramping up how much you were running, um, it seems to have sort of inflamed the muscle, especially the tendon along this area. It actually inserts over here on the lateral condyle, the tibia, and um, it's just a little bit inflamed and painful. Okay. So we're actually going to do a few exercises and I'll have you do these um, every day and explain every one of them to you, actually demonstrate them to you. And I do want you to take some time off of running if that's okay. I want you to just take the week off and we can slowly bring in a little bit of running but on um, a different schedule than what you're used to. We just have to make sure that we're really resting this muscle, reducing the inflame inflammation and just getting you back to not feeling any pain. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Sounds good, thank you so much. No problem. So let me show you some of these exercises. So with the first exercise, we're just going to be stretching out your IT band. So I'll show you how to do it on your left side first. We do want to do this on both sides just because with running, you're going to be aggravating both sides. Just because you're not feeling pain on the left side doesn't mean that um, mm -hmm. the IT band is you know, entirely uh, well stretched and not overexerted. So we do want to pay attention. It does feel kind of tight here as well. So you want to pay attention to both sides, okay? So what you're going to do, I'll actually send you home with one of these. We're going to take this band and just bring it over, loop it over the foot like that. Here, you're going to hold it, okay? And you're going to slowly pull your leg all the way up. And I don't want you to move your leg actively, just use the band to do this. And now you're going to pull the band all the way over on this side. And that's going to be a really nice stretch along the IT band, so we'll just do that. I want you to hold that for 30 seconds and do it three times a day, okay? Just to start, and then we'll ramp it up from there. How does that feel? I definitely can feel the stretch. Okay, good. So you can just kind of hold that on your own as well. Okay, great. Let's do that on the other side. There we go. And again, without actively moving your muscles, I'm going to pull this up. Okay, good. And then we're just going to bring it over to the side and just really get that nice stretch. So I want to start off with that. And I'm also, do you know how to use a foam roller? I'm sure you're familiar with it mm -hmm. as a runner. So I want you to use it to work on, again, this IT band that runs from your gluteus maximus all the way down. So from the hip bone, the iliac crest. And I want you to work all the way down. Don't put too much pressure in the beginning. It is gonna be a little painful but do try to determine whether it's a good kind of pain where it's like, oh, you know, it feels like it's really working versus like a sharp mm -hmm. pain that you were feeling. So just take it slow and work on it on both sides. And I'll have you do that, let's start with twice a day, just as far as you can go in terms of how much, you know, pain you can tolerate. Okay, okay. Now I wanna show you another exercise this one is called the clamshell. And with the clamshell, we're really actually working on the gluteus medius muscle, which is just over here, down there. And that muscle is going to help you abduct your hip. So it's actually going to bring you know, your hip out like this. And you won't have to, with strong gluteus medius muscles, 
you won't have to rely on your IT band as much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we really want to strengthen those abductor muscles so that we can use those instead of letting the IT band do all of the work and then getting worn out. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to turn onto your side facing that way. Okay, good. And just come back a little bit so that you're not falling off the table. Okay, great. Now I want you to come onto your elbow. So I'm going to actually come onto your elbow like this. Do you want me to help you help lift you? So the elbow is going to come around like that. Good. Just like that. Great. Okay. So you're going to really make sure that you're holding yourself up there. And then now on this side, we're going to bring this slide back. So, and then keep that foot down and bring it up. And I want you to straighten out your body as much as you can. There you go. Let's just keep that up. How does that feel? I want you to just bring, move that over there. And I want just hold yourself in that position. How is that? And now we're going to actually bring your um, hips up. So you're balancing pretty much on that elbow, like on the arm and down here. I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Okay? There we go. And then straighten your whole body. <laughs> and then you can just kind of keep your neck. Okay, can you hold that? I, I know it's a little hard. We're basically just working the gluteus medius on the right side right now. And we're going to do this, let's start with 10 seconds, three times a day. Okay. Okay. And yeah, so we will have to do that on both sides. Okay. All right, so that's it for today. Do you have any questions at all? No, thank you so much. Okay, no problem. And if you're feeling quite a bit of pain there, you can always use some ice. Mm -hmm. And then next week, I do want to see you again. Does the same time work for you? Sure. Okay, so we'll have another appointment booked for you just to see how, um, how your IT band is feeling. Okay, thank great. you so much. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.